Capricorn. Welcome to your Celtic cross reading. What's up? What's going on? Show me Capricorn, please. Like always. Take a resonate, see if it does not. Do keep in mind these are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. Frustrating, but normal. Check your placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Show me Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? Very good. Okay, at the heart of the reading, Six of Cups, crossing the chariot, mm. Four Swords hovering above you, healing in the past Four Cups, uh, upsetness, exiting the sense of the lovers, oh yes, Six of Swords moving on, powerful connection, judgment is in your strengths, who else had that? I think it was Virgo, and I promise you I shuffle these many times in between takes, never mind what you see on camera. So if you have any Virgo in your chart, perhaps check theirs out. Your environment, King of Wands. Okay. Two of Pentacles, hopes and fears. Okay. All right. Outcome, Two of Wands, decisions made. Decisions made. Okay. It's made. A little bit of back and forth on something like this. I understand. I get it. Six of Cups, the soul bond here. Something that's precious, unique to you. That's the key word here, Six of Cups, unique. It's an emotional flow, energetic flow that's not spoken of between these two. They just experience it almost effortlessly, which is why they can be our most beneficial connections and the ones we would most likely take for granted because it's just such a seamless flow between these two. Regardless if you identify with soul bond stuff or not, the point is memories, six of cups, sweet nostalgia of the past. So we know this person. We've been knowing them, but the chariot's on the sideways. Do we want to move forward with this emotionally or otherwise? Has this run its course? Will you be running towards them or away from them? So the chariot really takes that point of view. Okay? It suggests one line of movement, A, B, one, two, but those paths shall not cross. We either move wholeheartedly in one direction or the other. But the point is, it's got our biggest emotional wallop, sincere punch behind it. Okay? Hovering above you, four swords. We need to rest on this. We need to contemplate this. Between you and you. Healing, everything begins with the self. What does this mean to you? Rest. Four cups is in the past. We are unhappy. Or we've been unhappy with this connection. I mean, why else would we be contemplating a different direction with it? If this particular connection could not change its course of its own accord, one person thus therefore decide to. Okay. If the connection was willing to flow and change a particular direction, you wouldn't be showing me how to figure out for yourself if you want to leave it behind or move forward with it as is. Where it seems like part of the condition in moving forward with it as is is that you remain unhappy with it. So that's a choice between you and you. What is exiting, however, is the lover's strong, powerful connection. It seems to be exiting anyway. I'm not saying that to be mean or cruel. I read what's here, not what isn't. It could be another connection altogether. We'll see if they're separate. What's before you? Six of Swords, moving on. I had somebody, the lecture with someone else, I believe it was a fire sign, who had the same card in the same position. It's very easy for people to say, I'm moved on, I'm over it. It takes work. It takes a lot of work. You have to keep focused in that little boat as you head for a distant shore that's completely unknown to you. That means a willingness to leave behind the land where you came from and you have to keep it behind you. It's really hard for people to leave what they've known and go into the unknown. But the idea is you wouldn't be doing it unless it was a calmer situation. Judgment is in your strengths. You pride yourself on learning your lessons and making good decisions accordingly, knowing when to answer or heed a particular call. Uh, King of Wands is in your environment. You get fired up for what you do, um, for what anything that you do. You have passion behind it that's natural to you, okay, which is lovely. Ambitious you are. Two of Pentacles in the hopes and fears. You know, um, something's going to come together or it's not. Did I make the correct decision? Should I unmake that decision? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Two of Wands is in your outcome, so I'm not too worried about you. That has the implication of direct decision making. A little bit of time? Yeah, okay. I grant you, but it's not as bad as three of wands. So there's a little bit of waiting here, but it's active. It's active decision where this is not active. Okay? Bare minimum contribution in order to float by, but still 
not a solution, okay? This suggests, okay, I know what's up, even if I don't like it. But hopefully you do like your decision, uh, because it's here, it's with you. You're showing me some very powerful elements today that suggest contemplation. You're not rushing anything. Um, you're understanding the full weight and gravity of this. But there's something that speaks to you about a good decision made here, and that's really what you want for yourself at the end of the day. I want to feel good about my decision. Okay. And so long as you know that's your truth, then you most likely will. Okay. Let's see that Six of Cups right at the heart of the reading. I do not know if the Six of Cups and the Lovers is the same, but it... Well, let's just take a look, shall we? More often than not, yes. But uh, not always. I've had people pull surprises on me. Mm-hmm. Well, that's like, well, actually, that's someone else. <laughs> and that happens. It does, absolutely. Uh, six of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Slow growth here. Active communication. It looks like it's slow, but it's frequent, and it feels good. It can do. Six of Wands, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. There's something about it that's very familiar. Communication's coming through soon. If it hasn't yet, soon. And it's going to feel good at first, Six of Wands. It's going to feel good. It's going to feel pleasing to the spirit. Maybe gratifying too, complimentary. Maybe a little a fawning, fair, fanfare, that kind of thing. Um, but it puts you into a space of reminiscence. It's like, oh, yeah, those words. I remember those words. You know? I remember those words. I remember how they always felt good, and they still do. So we have communication here with the Six of Cups, and it feels good. It also makes you reminisce about what was built and how far and what your communication was always like, and they always had that way of talking to you. Okay. All right. That is active, though. It's coming on through soon. Okay. How soon? How soon is now? It looks like soon. That's all I can tell you, honey. Chariots crossing. What does that mean, though? In what direction, in what world do I move forward with this, or do I at all? Let's take a look. Let's see that chariot. I understand the reminiscence of those words, and they are beautiful. They can hit that nostalgic sweet spot just so, and how I used to talk with old so-and-so. And you think of them fondly, the words. What's interesting is the flattering element, the Six of Wands. They seem to know how to speak to you just so or just in that way. Build you up, make you feel extra special, that kind of thing. I understand. Let's see that chariot, please. Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the King of Swords. Yeah, okay. I think that's fair. And now we have that second person. The flattery aside, the initial words aside, that initial provocation of reminiscence aside, um, you both are at a stalemate about to move this forward, and if you should. The king and queen of swords. So this is the initial reaction after, I suppose, the initial pleasantries of, how are you doing? You look great, or et cetera, whatever, however that goes down between you and this person. You know who it is almost immediately. But you both have faced with a test, the king, queen of swords, and the seven of wands in between you two. Will you go your own separate ways? Will it progress any further from this point? Is there a point? So I don't know what that initial communication is about. It warms up the subject, let's put it that way. But when that kind of calms down, however frequent that is, or a one-time communicate, I don't know. Once that calms down, the real decisions here about to progress or not. Okay? And that's where two people here put their hard hats on. Determination, strong words, strong minds, direction, flow, is there. One of you might be on path A, the other might choose path B. But you don't seem to be on the same page regarding movement. Okay? From this point forward. It got really firm really fast. 
the sweetness aside, the softness aside. When it uh, got down to the quick of what's really real, you're born, excuse me, you're both more or less equals on this. There is a disagreement about how to proceed and if either of you should. Okay. Let's take a look at what you're thinking about all this. Four swords privately. Okay, this is between you and you at the quiet level. Let's see that four swords. That conversation was a warm-up act, I'll tell you that. But then it got real. Okay. For some of you, this means the proposition to move forward as in literally relocate and someone may not want to. Uh, for others of you, this is someone whom we've not spoken to for some time. And um, the pleasantries aside, reality kicked in about expectations and moving forward. You're both trying to listen to each other, but you're not giving either. So let's pull you aside as an individual. I absolutely agree. And see what you make of all this. Let's see that four swords. Oh boy, did things get tense real fast. You both started to withhold almost immediately. All right, there's that cherries again. The lovers and judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. The chariot, the lovers, the judgment. Indeed, I shall say. Uh, yeah, that's what you want to know too. Wow. There's such a strong pull for you. There's lover's connection indeed. Um, gosh. You feel so strongly connected to the lover's connection. Drawn to it, the chariot. There's some, it's, I'm going to jump over this lover's connection before I give you that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something here's not right. Let's see that lover's please. Let's see the lover's please in the exiting position. You're at a crossroads, aren't you, for the Capricorn I'm looking at, to proceed with somebody whom you heavily question the direction, specifically or due to on the same page. Somebody's leaning towards path A, somebody else is leaning towards path B, and you both have a wall up as you both mutually agree to disagree about direction and should either of you bother. And that's where it kind of stops. It's a stagnant stalemate. So I see you taking yourself to rest, to contemplate things, but your mind is not on this person. Your mind and your heart and your spirit are connected to someone else. You want to know if it's too late. You don't want it to be too late. You feel such a pressure. And I mean, it's a beautiful pressure because the connection's so strong. But we have such a strong calling to someone else, this lover. You say you waited a long time. You waited a long time for a beginning with them. And you don't want them to exit. You don't want that connection to exit. It's still with you to this day. It's still with you to this day. So you two, this, this, you're familiar with each other's words and they do make you feel good you're comfortable with it you're not uncomfortable with it you've known them forever and a day but when it came time to for direction time to pull up the anchor and say this way or that way that's where you went stonewall you went stalemate with this person it's like thank you for the words thank you for the memories and uh, you and i've known each other a long time and it does feel good to be around you or with you I don't know if I can move forward with you. And it's such a clear division where you two are listening to each other, but it got really cold when it came to direction. It's like a temporary blockade. 
until one of you knows what you're doing. But when I see you talk to yourself privately, quietly, you're saying my desire, you're saying when it comes to a special connection, I wouldn't hesitate. You're saying my chariot would have no brakes on this special connection. So you're thinking about how you don't want to move forward with this person and how you would move forward wholeheartedly in another direction altogether, which by all rights is exiting, but that exit's not complete. You still look backwards, three of wands, and saying, I know that's my worth. I would love it to be in my life. When I have a strong connection, one I can stand by, I wouldn't hesitate. So I think you have your answer, Capricorn, honey. Let's take this idea of the lovers off the table. You're telling me your definition for not hesitating. Therefore, you have a definition of why you are hesitating with this one. And why it's like, thank you for the conversation and thank you for the development and I've known you forever. That doesn't necessarily mean I want to wholeheartedly haul off in your direction. And they went stonewall on you too. There's no forward decision on that one. So then you already know. You may not get the connection of a lifetime, honey. I, I know you feel it strongly. I mean, that's such a strong sense of calling and lessons and judgment here. And it's part of your strengths too. So whether or not you can have that lover, I don't know. But I do know this. If you try to force yourself to move in a direction like this, you would be going against yourself. You know that, don't you? So no, I don't see the wheels in motion on this one. That came to an abrupt halt after the pleasantries and the real conversations, which felt flattering. It was a conversation about moving forward, wasn't it? Or moving on or relocating or something. You're hesitating here for a reason, but for this you wouldn't. Four cups in the past suggest you've been unhappy. I want to examine that just a little closer. Let's see that four of cups, please. This, no holds barred, no, no embargoes, no nothing. You're saying like that, like that. No hesitation on that chariot, none. So whatever it is you're connected to is not what you want to move forward with. And so long as you are honest with yourself about that and you come to terms with it, they may not be happy about it, but if it's not right for you, you can't force it. I mean, you shouldn't. I've seen what happens when people try to force a life on themselves that they don't mean. It has damaging results as much as anything else. Let's see that Four of Cups, please. Show me that Four of Cups. Show me that Four of Cups. I don't know if you'll have your all-star lover here. I have no idea. I do know that you are spiritually and emotionally connected to them in ways I don't think a lot of people would understand. No. Um... And you don't want to lose sight of that as your potential reality. You feel it slipping away from you as a potential outcome for you. Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. You're saying that you worked so hard. I believe you. There's Capricorn. Nine, Eight, and Ten, all Pentacles. You've worked so hard, and it's given you such a strong platform for who you are. Success, sure. Monetary comfort, bare minimum. A strong sense of can-do attitude and experience. Uh, I've built my own little empire, one pentacle at a time, thank you. And it was a hellacious practice of repetition. But I did it. I know what I'm worth. I know how I can account for myself. I mean, you have a platform of stability that is ridiculous. I'm guessing not too many people can keep up with you. Oh. Look at that. You might be privately wealthy at this point. Not that I think that that's matters, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there. And even if you're not, you're stable as hell. And you experience and you're saying, I did it off my back. I built this. I built me. I built this community for which you were very deeply a part of. But you're upset. Not all parts of it are cracked up. To what, or they're not all what they're cracked up to be. Okay. You're still upset disappointed, emotionally detached and not on the same page with somebody. So I, I get that kind of chasm of experience. It's like, how can I be so successful here and be so emotionally impoverished over here with you? 
to where I have to deeply question this direction with you. In fact, stopped it altogether. Perhaps this is where you and I part ways. I don't know. They've had some level of contribution through your life on that pathway, Seven of Pentacles. It feels mostly like memories and words. But the majority of your success is all you, baby. So it seems to me, yeah, you should be a little bit more emotionally enriched, not impoverished. You're hanging back for a reason, honey. Whatever this is, you're, you feel like you can't move forward with it. Regardless of that strong lover's connection to pulling you in a different direction. And I want you to trust this. I do. I want you to trust this. All right. Look at that. Solid as hell. So solid. Look at that. And you're feeling this so acutely. Is this what's missing in your life? We're going to get to that judgment. I promise you that. Let's see that Six of Swords. I want you to show me <clears throat> exactly what you're moving on from as you best understand it. Show me that. Show me that Six of Swords. Show me that Six of Swords. Oh. Yes. Justice, the right thing to do. Wanting to know what that is. Well, I don't blame you. I do not blame you. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. I, you don't <clears throat> want to seem to give to this anymore. Page of Pentacles isn't much. Knight of Pentacles is slow and not giving much to a cups. Um, you're saying whatever it is you can leave behind. Realistically speaking, you no longer view the investment the same way. Specifically being on the same page regarding movement. Okay. I see you minimizing contact with this as you emotionally and mentally separate from it. And frankly, pentacle-wise, you don't give so much of yourself to it anymore. Okay? Real talk. Uh, it's not going to be an abrupt, clean line cutting things out. It's um, more like distancing yourself from it more and more, contributing less to it in 3D and emotionally. So it's a soft drift. It's not a hard division. I, I know that you've known this connection a long time. Okay, but again, it's, it's kind of like you're saying, this is where you and I part ways. I can't conceive of continuing to move forward in this direction with you. You were on my pathway for a while. And sometimes it feels good but you can't conceive of a world where you continue to stay on the same path. It's just, you just can't. I don't think you're trying to be mean about it. I don't see any dickish energy surrounding you. I don't, you're not doing it to be cruel. It's like you and I no longer move in the same direction. We've grown apart. For some of you, that's literally what we're looking at here. We've grown apart. The fact that I can't move forward with you with conviction says a lot. I see you gently parting ways with it, and I mean gently, but you give less and less of yourself to it every day. Let's jump on over here to judgment. Um, that's coming up for you in the near future. Okay. As I believe you are gently, emphasis, gently separating yourself from this um, out of respect for what was built or grown or how you know them. Something, I, I, there's a distinct feeling I don't want it to be too late. The window's closing and you don't want it to be. Okay with the lover here. If you're just tuning in, let's say you fast forwarded a wee bit too much, um, there's the core of a 3D situation and something else that calls you deeply altogether elsewhere. You seem to have a very sharp idea of what it should look like in your life, feel like in your life. The lover's there's twice. It's not random. There's something here you're deeply connected to, even if you haven't met it yet. Yeah, yeah. Let's see that judgment, please. Temperance. K 
King of Wands, the magician. I, I th you made the right decision, honey. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. You're abiding by a calling that is very powerful, and you may not necessarily understand it. But you look so damn secure. I just... You look so darn secure, and you're suggesting to me you're someone who's familiar with the elements of openly manifesting and coming from a patient and practice background. That suggests to me conscious awareness. I just, I don't think you're some Capricorn off the street. I think you're someone who is very in tune with who they are. And you came at a crossroads. You have a particular plan about how you're going to exit that crossroad. You're going to go your way. They're going to go theirs. Okay. Um, but that judgment, here it is. That lovers, you're saying, I know what I'm doing. And I actually believe you. <laughs> you <laughs> yes, you, I believe you. Who you are as a person wasn't built overnight. This, that's amazing. You are opus, oh, excuse me, openly and consciously manifesting from a place of patience, but passion, ambition, steady hand, and sound of mind. Okay, you know, you know what you want. Okay, that king of wands, some of you might have some very sharp uh, fire in your chart, particularly Leo Sag. It doesn't have to, but it is here prominently. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip that king of wands. I get it. <laughs> I get it. It's in your environment. You have a very healthy, functioning environment. Extremely. I want you to kind of back up off that. I mean, I, it works for you, but it's like, how are you not stressed out of your mind? I don't know. Maybe you have it in a smooth, functioning machine. Uh, you have a... It's just... Still, that's that's quite a bit. So, no, I don't... With all due respect, Danny, I don't need to see the King of Wands in your bike. You are the King of Wands here. You got it. Okay? Your environment, not worried about you. Two of Pentacles. Hopes and fears there. We go back and forth. Let's see that two of wands. Uh, so I'm not saying you're perfect. What I'm saying is, is that you are abiding by your own particular laws as you best understand them. Okay? Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. There's this strong idea of, of friendship and how do I hold on to this? I don't know if I want to. So here's the reality of the other side of that kind of decision to gently leave this behind. And I, I do see you breaking off little pieces on your way out. Again, it's a gentle separation. Um, and your But your inner practicality is wondering how long am I going to have to do that? How long am I going to have to maintain this kind of structure of friendship? And is that what I really want to do? Do I even want to hold on to this as friends? You'll figure it out um, at the way you show me things. You'll figure it out. That's just a matter of time. Okay? How much to give to this? And do you really mean to hold on to it as friendship? You'll figure it out. Trust yourself on that. That's just not a priority for you. Just continue to gently leave this behind and the answer will come forward in time. Okay? I'm not worried about that. Let's say that two of wands. Let's see that two of wands. Send that two of wands, please. You don't even know if you should hold on to it out of the sake of friendship. And if so, what does that mean? Okay. Um, like I said, that's up to you. The answers will come in time. Just continue to move on your particular pathway and the solution will present itself. All right. Let's see that two of wands. In the meantime, I agree with your six of swords here. Okay. Nine of Cups, the Star, and the Ace of Wands. Boom. Uh, somehow you snapped this idea of the Lover's Connection back into your field of vision. It was, I, it's an exiting, but it hadn't fully exited. There's a sense of a closing window here, and can you still have hope for it, practically speaking? Because it's still with you today, and it's going to be with you in the future, too. Um, like I said, you snap this back into your field of vision. You take it off the back burner, and you put it before your eyes as priority. In other words, you're making it happen. So, It is wish fulfillment for you. It's an ace of wands for you. It's your star. I see you connecting to it. So... All I know is that you made really good choices. Okay. 
if you have to stop and halt in your tracks, just to make this clear, it's not about I want this situation to win. It has nothing to do with my personal opinion. When anything in that context of I have to stop, you and I need to stop and understand if we're on the same page because we're talking about direction. We're listening, but you and I are not in agreement and we haven't been for some time. And there's something else inherently you feel that you would never hesitate on. It gives you a strong reflection about where you currently are with someone else. You no longer feel inclined to move in that direction anymore. More than feel, you know. So the reminiscence aside, how they contributed to your Ten of Pentacles aside, realistically you cannot see moving forward with it anymore, but you're not mad about it, you're not angry about it, but I do see you shutting down towards it gently. Because you know. You know the answer. And there's the Ace of Wands come back to life. So whatever it is that's exiting, you pull it back into your field of vision. The star, Nine of Cups, high levels of desire, attraction, wish fulfillment, reaching for the stars, etc. That decision's made, <clears throat> also backed up here with judgment. Okay. All I know is that you're pulling in what's right for you, and you're acting on it too. You're not just wishing for it, you're making it happen. That's the benefit of active decision making. You are a participant in your own life, don't forget that. Never wait passively for something to show up for you. Because the best stuff that does show up, you're not waiting for it, it just happens. Okay? Anyone who's worth their salt does not say, oh, I'm waiting for the best to happen for me. No, you're out there living life. And then what's best for you kind of shows up as a reflection of that, you know? So. Waiting says you're not living life. I know there's the important conversation right there. We kicked it off with that right away. Somebody prompted the important conversation. It was either you or them. But it's like at last you two kind of finally are on the same page about not being on the same page. It's an open declaration of truth. And once somebody put that down, that's when I see the the tightening up of the energies. It's not the easiest of things, but it, it also didn't look violent either uh, by fall for some of you specifically. Okay. And fall for the northern, excuse me, northern hemisphere folks is right around the corner. Okay. Uh, there you go. Separation, longing, truth is, reminiscence aside, once more, we've been longing for a separation. Okay. You, them, the both of you. We started to feel it last spring. Very good. Let's, I, I got that. That's my point. The apology, rebirth, winter. Um, there's that sense of forgiveness and apology. We've experienced a rebirth. Some of you experienced a rebirth. Like, say, last winter, you felt it more progressively over the spring. In fall is the cumulative effect. Uh, there is a sense of guilt here, and I'm sorry, but we cannot force ourselves to continue to be on the same page and act like we're both cool with it. I don't want to move in this direction anymore, and if we're being honest, you don't either. I have to agree, it does look pretty mutual, to be honest. Big success. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Listen to your intuition. Indeed. No. Okay. Celebration. Chaser. Self-care. Okay. Celebrate yourself more often. You've chased and worked hard towards your sense of success. I want you to celebrate more in your terms of self-care and what it is you're pulling towards you. Okay. Vivid dreams. I know. Yeah, you can't have a connection like that spiritually otherwise and not have vivid dreams. As I say, I want to see more of that projected outcome because it looks amazing. Okay. Summer. Some of you have some very sharp interpretations of the significance of their, the strong connection over the summer. Okay. Okay. That's, perhaps that's why you had that sense of the windows closing on this and I don't want it to. There's that too. Okay. But it's here and it'll be showing up for you in the future. Capricorn, honey. Congratulations. This was amazing. Take care. Be well.